Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Let's Play of Dragon Warrior 4. We're on part 9 overall, second part of chapter 2, where we are continuing to grind. That's right, grinding. And not the fun kind you do in middle school on the dance floor, no siree, none of that here. Just the good old fashioned Japanese RPG. Head to the grindstone, bash your forehead off of it, while you farm up experience and gold. It's basically exactly what they made fun of in South Park in the World of Warcraft episode when you kill 800 million boars, or however many it was, some absurd amount, to get to actually play the game. But not quite as intense. And there we go, we should have Bray leveling up to 4 here. Gaining a little agility, vitality, and intelligence. Three hit points and five more magic points. And like I said, his magic points are all he has. So that's a big deal. And here we go with a rabbit hound. We are going to try to take this thing out. Nice and easy in one round. And this could get uncomfortable. One miss was good. That was really unfortunate, Christo, with your slow ass. And now we're gonna run, because it's not worthwhile to complete the fight. Take an absolute pounding, and have Bray not get the experience for it. That's what we're gonna do. We are gonna be cowards here, we are gonna duck fights, and we are just gonna get back and get Bray revived. Well, this is mildly embarrassing. Guess it is probably a little bit more difficult to run away when you're dragging a corpse behind you. And we never hit this many fights when we want to hit this many fights per tile density. Alright, let's check this sign out. And see. Serene! That's it. Serene. I feel better now that I know that. Let's go in here, talk to this dude. We are gonna revive Bray. We are gonna save. And yes, we are going to continue. We're going to check out what we can get for some equipment. We are going to grab leather armor. Give that to Elena. We are going to sell Bray's basic clothes. Wow, we ended up perfect. And we are gonna buy leather armor for Bray. We are going to give the silk robe to Christo. So we're gonna equip Elena 
with the leather armor. We're gonna equip Christo with the... Oh, he can't use the silk robe. I was under the impression he could. Let's see if Bray can. He cannot. Very interesting. So, this was only two armor more than the silk robe. I'm assuming then that only female characters can equip the silk robe. So then Christo will equip the leather armor since that's a five armor gain. So we need 90, 180, and 130. We need 310 more gold if we want to fully outfit ourselves. And let's just see how we fare against some stuff before we make that decision. Most important thing to see is how hard rabbit hounds are going to hit us now. As they are quite a large problem. See, this, this is what I mean. We have no problem fighting things now, and now nothing shows up for the entirety of this walk. Here we go, this is what we were looking for. Rabbit Hound hit Christo for six. That's much better than the eight to ten he was taking before. Still not perfect, but I'm not sure we want to take the entirety of the time it would take to grind up to purchase that equipment. suck. Overall, we're taking very little damage in comparison to what we were before, though, so that is also very good. Ideally, I'd like to see Elena hit level 5, get a few extra strength points in, maybe. This may not take nearly as long as I thought it would take. We already have 182 gold. One strength, two agility, three vitality, four, seven more hit points. She's gaining a huge amount of hit points. 
Now I'm going to say, we're going to go ahead and risk it. What's the worst thing that can happen? We die? Not like I haven't died to a boss fight yet. So now we're going to be given as an offering. There's the litter. Climb in. Don't ever litter the litter. I find it so amusing that even games this old can make potty jokes. Don't litter the litter. And now we wait. Oh no. Dog, dog, dude. So here we have rabbit hound, rabbit hound, and a chameleon humanoid. So, we're gonna have Chris Doe start by uppering Bray, because he's the most likely to die. Okay, then he's gonna upper himself. We didn't quite kill the first rabbit hound, but that's okay. So, bam, him upper Elena. He's gonna sap the chameleon humanoid for when we start. Oh, that's right, he casts heal. Okay, now everybody's had their defense increased. And he just healed B. That's the problem with this fight. Good, he attacked this time. So let's hopefully get one of these dead. He attacked again. Ideal, A is dead. Christo is healed. Upper is a huge tool. And not enough people utilize it. Okay, his defense is as low as it can go, so now it's just time to pelt him in the face. And he can only hit Brave for two. So that kind of trivializes out this fight. We can just pound away, not worry about dying. We actually ran him out of magic points, healing his friends, and we kill him. Gain 150 experience, a treasure chest with life force nuts, and 100 gold pieces. Elena actually went up to 6, gaining 2 strength, little agility, little vitality, little luck, 3 hit points. We're going to see Krista go up to 5, 2 strength, 2 agility, 2 vitality, 2 intelligence, 3 luck, 4 hit points, 3 magic points. And we are going to see Christo also go up to 6, gaining 2 more strength and agility and vitality and intelligence and luck. 3 hit points, 3 magic points. So he had very consistent levels there. Bray hits 5, gains a little agility, a little vitality, a little intelligence and luck. 4 hit points and 7 magic points. News of the demise spread through the village like wildfire and we have a new day. Where we have a store open now right up here where we could buy a thorn whip a boomerang or leather armor none of those three things are we going to buy right now we are gonna restore all of our resources here As of right now, the boomerang is the best weapon we can buy, and all three of our characters can utilize it. And we still cannot save here. So we are going to make our way to the next town. We're going to get there, and then we are going to be signing off. So this segment's going to be a little longer than standard. We have to be very careful in here. We are now going to fight even new, newer monsters that are going to be even stronger than what we were just facing. And how we managed to get here with absolutely zero fights is beyond me. Matter of fact, let's talk to this guy, because I forget what this guy sells. Item shop, but he just so happens to sell 
wooden hats. Which Bray cannot wear, he has to wear a leather helm, but we can get in the wooden hat defense for Elena and for Christo. And I may be an idiot because she's wearing a feather hat and the wooden hat is worse. So I just wasted a little bitty bit of gold. I wasted 30 gold. Nothing too criminal. And we'll come over to the shaman. Welcome to the House of Healing. We are going to save. Yes, indeed, we are going to save. And then we are going to be signing off. And I want to say thank you guys again for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see updates when I post new videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And hopefully we'll see you guys next time. Adios.